Which of the top 10 is the wealthiest? Get ready and discover who is the wealthiest in the world and who is able to weather the storm of the recent stock market crash. Number 10. Mukesh Ambani. As an entrepreneur, it's very important to find a problem that you want to solve, that you are passionate about. That's right. The bottom of our list of very wealthy people is Mukesh Ambani, with a net worth of $90.7 billion. The chairman of Reliance Industries, one of the most profitable companies in India. Reliance Industries has diverse businesses, including energy, petrochemicals, natural gas, retail, telecommunications, mass media, and textiles. And the story of his leadership is a prime example of up-and-coming entrepreneurship. He will always remain the leader of the economy and the one who every young entrepreneur strives to replicate due to his abilities. Number 9. Steve Balmer. I have these notes, but I gotta say I'm just fired up to be here today. Pretty cool! Pretty damn cool! Woo! The second from the bottom of our list is Steve Ballmer, with a net worth of $91.4 billion. He is one of America's wealthiest people. Balmer is an American businessman, investor, and former chief executive officer. The chief executive of Microsoft is also known for his passion for sports. Nevertheless, he grew tired eventually, cursing the coaches from behind his television, so he behaved just like every sports fan wants to act. In 2014, he bought LA Clippers for an astounding $2 billion, presumably so he could do the shouting in person. Steve Ballmer's $333 million worth of Microsoft stock certainly added a bit of money to his account by the time his net worth reached number 9. He is among the wealthiest people in the world. Born in Detroit, Michigan in 1956, Steve Ballmer spent a happy life at his home in Farmington Hills, the largest city in Oakland County. Steve is now living with his wife, Connie Snyder, and his three children, and presumably enjoys basketball. Number 8. Larry Ellison. You will change the world, and the world will change you as you learn and grow and discover more about yourself. In the next round, we have the Oracle of Silicon Valley coming in hot with a net worth of $106 billion. Larry Ellison made his fortune by being the CEO of a little company called Oracle in 1977, a widely known company. In 2014, he relinquished the position of CEO, though he retained service as chairman of the board and chief technology officer. Apparently, before Larry became the eighth richest person in the world, he was briefly the wealthiest person in the world in the 1990s. He was also the world's highest paid executive, several times. Larry was born in New York City. He was raised in Chicago South Shore and as a child, he was adopted. He spent his adolescence and young adulthood in a modest middle-income neighborhood. After dropping out of college, he found himself making a career for himself, working in the tech industry sector, which inspired him to develop Oracle. Oracle was very capable even against rivals, such as Sybase and Microsoft SQL Server. He is living on a private independently owned Hawaiian island called Leonard, which he purchased for $300 million. He's also sitting pretty on the Tesla board, having purchased $15 million in Tesla stocks. Number 7. Sergey Brin. Uh, you know, as much attention to science as we pay attention to sports and television and so forth. He is one of the brains at Google. By the way, legend states that if you like and subscribe to this video, you will get 10 years of good luck. Back to Sergey. Don't be surprised to learn that the co-founder of Google is on the top list. Though Sergey has a net worth of $107 billion and isn't going to be the founding father of our future technological overlord, he and Larry Page thought up a number of personal projects, such as the world's energy solution and climate management. For example, he invested money in efficient electric cars, 
as did several other billionaires. Sergey Brin put a considerable amount of cash into the billionaire space race, investing $4.5 million in space adventures for a Virginia-based space tourism business. Space Adventures has managed seven times to send people above the atmosphere to date. So, is he winning the space? Let us know in the comments. Number 6. Larry Page So I'm super grateful for all of your support. You know, our success really depends on all of you, so thank you. Now technology should really do the hard work, and that's really so people can get on with living. The next entry on the list is no surprise, as it is a narrow margin between this Google person and Sergey Brin. Larry Page is a Google man just like Sergey Brin. They co-founded Google in 1998. He was also the CEO of Alphabet for a while. Larry Page attended Stanford University, where he met his Google co-founder Sergey Brin. Together, they invented the Google Page Rank algorithm, which fueled Page's website's success. Larry eventually achieved his net worth of $111 billion, placing him at top six wealthiest people in the world. Although Larry's net worth isn't exclusively derived from his shares in Google, not to get left behind in the billionaire competition, he has been enthusiastic about space travel enterprise, planetary resources, as well as funding up flying car companies named Kitty Hawk. It is like saying, if you can't climb Mount Everest, you can at least climb a smaller mountain. And with Larry, he will conquer the sky. If you are wondering where Larry Page is, and can be hard to find his information on the web, it is not that strange. Larry Page is an extremely private individual, he doesn't even use social media accounts. His doing well in avoiding sneaky glances, isn't that interesting. Let us just say, Larry Page is busy spending his fortune away at vacations, spending it on real estate, and donating his shares so that he could help people. Number 5. Known as the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors of all time, placing him in the top five. My, my partner, Charlie Munger, told me 50 years ago, he says, if you want to guarantee yourself a life of misery, marry somebody with the idea of changing them. We are now halfway there. Keep watching till the end to find out who is number one on the list. Number five on this list with a net worth of $118 billion. Warren Buffett is an extremely successful prolific investor. He manages Berkshire Hathaway, which owns more than 60 companies. From manufacturing to restaurants, if he can make money from it and if Buffett can milk this cash cow, he will. Buffett is known for many attributes, including being a frugal billionaire who chooses not to buy fast sports cars or reside in the largest mega mansions, but instead uses his money to acquire companies and invest in new ones. Buffett is also recognized for his charitable work. He promised to donate over 99% of his wealth and has so far managed to disperse it. More than $45 billion, mostly to the Gates Foundation and his kids' foundations, but still sits well at the top of the biggest list of billionaires. Warren Buffett and Bill Gates launched the Giving Pledge in 2010, asking billionaires to donate at least half of their wealth to charitable causes. The pledge has drawn many rich people, including Elon Musk and Larry Ellison. Number 4. Bill Gates uh, Mostly I love software. Uh, I do remember at the private school I went to, there were other kids whose families were better off, like they had a Porsche or something, but it wasn't that, that big of a Next, deal. Next, we have a gentleman who has not left the top five richest people in the world list for quite a long time. Bill Gates is an American business magnate, software developer, and investor. Let's be candid, you knew he is going to be on this spot. Gates has been one of the most well-known rich people of all time. Bill Gates used the software firm Microsoft's success to become involved with a wide variety of alternative investments, like carbon-neutral energy trading. Bill Gates has remained a superstar in the world of business, getting plenty of recognition for it. His net worth is over $129 billion, and in spite of his unselfish efforts to conserve and expand a few ventures, 
he has no intention of retiring soon. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation was founded in 2000 as a merger of two previous charitable endeavors. Guided by the optimism that every life has equal value, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation strives to help ensure that all people lead efficient healthy lives. Its efforts are directed primarily toward making essential improvements to health and enabling people to eradicate hunger and extreme poverty so as to give them an opportunity to initiate positive improvement in their lives. Although their 27-year marriage ended in an unexpected divorce in 2021, they plan to maintain being co-workers at their charity. In the Twitter post they shared, Over the last 27 years, we have raised three incredible children and built a foundation that works all over the world to enable all people to lead healthy, productive lives. The statement continued, we continue to share a belief in that mission and will continue our work together at the foundation. Number three, Bernard Arnold and family. We want to show that it's possible for big organizations, for large companies, to be close to startups and to help startups. The winning Bernard Arnold and family. Bernard Arnold with his remaining wealth remains a standout placing him among the super-rich in all countries and also in Europe. He has an unquestionable net worth of $158 billion. We know that not too many people are talking about Bernard Arnold, despite the fact that he has now been one of the richest people in the world three times over. Bernard Arnold runs the LVMH dynasty of some 70 fashion and beauty companies, including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. Bernard sells a wide range of high-quality products including cosmetics, luxury watches, elegant fashion lines and fine fragrances. He brings even more to the table however, with delicious pastries too. Yes, you heard it right. Bernard is either working with his children to run the family business, or he's chilling on his $150 million yacht he acquired in 2015, called Symphony. Number 2. Jeff Bezos. Also watching all of our internal business metrics, number of customers, profit per unit, um, uh, you know, uh, everything you can imagine, defects, etc. Every single thing about the business was getting better, in fact. Formerly number one on the list of richest people in the world in 2018. Bezos dropped down in years later, placing him in the second position. Jeff Bezos has a net worth of $171 billion. Jeff Bezos created Amazon in 1994 from his garage in Seattle. He stepped down as CEO to become executive chairman in July 2021. The Amazon company grew significantly in the last few years as a result of the demand to stay at home and isolate amid the ever-mounting pandemic and shop online trend. People from the top of the most prosperous class are likely to move up in the rankings in the future. Such folks might even return to the top one rank. He still has shares worth over $55.5 million in Amazon, which represents 13% of outstanding shares, the company's largest shareholder. Even considering the massive settlement he took in support of his divorce from ex-wife Mackenzie Scott in 2019, this might have set Jeff back several billion dollars. But in only a few short years, he's bounced back to full momentum. Additionally, recently released into the depths of space on his very own rocket, Blue Origin, Bezos recently shot himself into the edge of space. And despite his current or future spectators not supporting him, he did not disappoint his supporters. He'll most likely be exploring more the world of billionaire competition. You know when someone is really, really rich, when they stay on the rich list even after a divorce. Number 1. Elon Musk. Just to push the envelope and provide uh, a reason for people to be excited and inspired to be human. And here we have the richest person in the world with an insane net worth of $219 billion. Elon Musk is another incredibly popular rich person. He's a South African-born Canadian-American. He's a businessman, inventor, investor, and CEO of SpaceX. And last October 28, 2022, 
he became a new owner of Twitter, which he bought for a massive $44 billion. Elon Musk must be one of a kind. Musk has had a very successful career in the tech industry, making his first software application sale when he was only 12 years old. Zip2 Corporation was the name of Musk's first company, which he sold for approximately $307 million in cash and $34 million in stock options. Subsequently, he founded X.com which became PayPal, which was sold to eBay for $1.5 billion. He additionally fine-tuned SpaceX to earn a $74 billion firm and promoted Tesla as the front of pricey electric vehicle technology, making him the person of the year for these people on Time magazine in 2021. Nowadays, when Musk is not busy attempting to colonize Mars, he's showing up on your television as he is being interviewed and acting like everything you expect of a tech tycoon to be. Which billionaire do you admire most and why? Also, don't forget to drop your questions and comments on those interesting facts, as we would love to hear all of them.